In this video, I'm going to be talking about making the bottoms for your bread basket or your wine carrier. This is in the dine and wine pattern. So these bottoms are fairly stiff, so they're pretty secure. And you're using fabric and your interfacing that you're using is Bozels Craftex Plus or Pellon's Peltex 2. Either one will work. You're fusing fabric to one side of your stiff interfacing. Now you're going to be making two of these. So fuse fabric to one side of each piece. When you do that, you want to make sure that you're using a Teflon uh, ironing sheet underneath so that this doesn't stick to your ironing board. So you'll fuse your fabric on and then you're going to um, cut it out. Uh, the template instructions are instructions on how to make the template or in your pattern. So you'll cut that out using the template and then you're going to bind it. So you're going to fold the beginning of the binding down about a half an inch or so. With right sides together, you're going to stitch all the way around. Now you can use a bias binding, but if you cut your fabric across the grain, and that's from salvage to salvage, then you'll have a little stretch so it will easily go around these corners. Stitch that on all the way around with a quarter of an inch seam, overlapping the beginning and the end a little bit. You'll flip this to the back. And again, because there is a little bit of a stretch in your fabric, it's going to hug those curves. Flip that around to the back. Iron it down. Again, you want to use a steam iron when you're ironing uh, with fusibles. Iron that down so it looks like this. You're going to place these two pieces, once you've ironed it down, right sides together, and you're going to stitch in the ditch all the way around like I have with the bottom of the wine caddy. Then you're going to Fuse these two together by ironing them one more time, and it creates a very stiff bottom. That's it. 